uh, project of literature review uh, as a part of a uh, big research uh, regarding uh, the use of uh, compost on soil and to deal with some problems related to success. Increasing poultry money production due to poultry farming expansion leads to environmental challenges and several adverse threats like antibiotic smells, leaching of some elements like nitra, existing health concerns, which could threaten also our human health. The need for active intervention seems to be mandatory to address these issues. So the motivation behind is to promote some sustainable solution to deal with uh, such concerns. And it is important to imagine that untapped potential, considering it as a valuable resource, not a pollutant, could be one among the most effective solution. So that's it. That's why we are choosing to use composting techniques for effective biomass management and to enhance also soil quality. In the arid and semi-arid regions, we are suffering from soil organic matter content, low soil organic matter content, which threaten uh, soil fertility in our soil and also which threaten also food security. There are three questions that we are trying to uh, bring uh, answers for. How can chicken money, which is commonly seen as polluted, be converted into a beneficial tool? Sustainable agriculture, boosting both cropping and soil quality. How can composting successfully solve these issues, especially in the context of waste reduction and pollution prevention, given the environmental effects of chicken manure? And how can compost application improve soil quality and play a beneficial role contributing to prevent environmental pollution? So, my, pre my presentation will be articulated around five points. First of all, Let's discover the fascinating world of composting process, and then we will shift to the roles of composting as organic management, and also its role as a biomedication technique. And then we will explore some benefits of composting before conclusion and discovering some further study that could be uh, conducted in the future. The composting process, by definition, is a transformation of bio waste instable by plastic in a stable one by reducing other toxic substances and we uh, this is also we use we can reduce also uh, pathogens loads like stabilomic oils, salmonella, uh Echel coli, uh, SLA or sulfate reducing uh, anhydrous. So the most most important cases are bacteria and fungi. Composting stages could be divided in two main stages. Biocidic phase, called also active phase, and also the second one, maturation phase, called curing phase. Biocidic phase could be divided in three subphases. First subphase, the mesophilic subphase, where compost heap uh, temperature varies between 20 and 40 Celsius. And then we shift to the thermophilic subphase when temperature of heaps could go between 40 to 60 degrees Celsius. And sometimes when the process of composting is conducted properly, it goes over than 70 degrees Celsius. And then when uh, microbial activity is decreasing, so we begin our cooling subphase to reach ambient temperature. To monitor properly the composting process, we need to control some parameters. And there are several key parameters in composting process. First of all, carbon to nitrogen ratio, because we need carbon to promote economic growth, and we need nitrogen to, to bring uh, material needed for uh, microbial DNA. We need also to, to master moisture level optimum range between 40 to 60 percent and we need oxygen concentration to boost aerobic activity and aerobic flora and temperature for sure due to exothermic uh, reaction we have temperature that rising and this temperature the rise of temperature 
could play a very determinate role in terms of pathogen destruction. But also, the H and the pH also could be very effective in terms of reducing these, uh, greenhouse gases, especially ammonia. Now, in composting work, we talk about two kinds of compost, mature compost and stable compost. We, we talk about stable compost when microbial activity is slowed down. When it's slowed, it's slowed down, we talk about uh, stable compost. When it is mature, we talk about non phytotoxic act, uh, non phytotoxic effect of compost. And we expect to enhance soil structure by bringing organic matter to our soil. And you know, in arid in the semi arid region, generally, generally speaking, uh, soil organic matter is beneath 1.5, which is um, which is um, very, very low because. To, to have a fertile soil, we need over than 2%. Two, two we can bring also uh, nutrients like nitrate, phosphorus, potassium, and also we enhance organic matter content and water retention. And when we have organic matter, we enhance also what, uh, water retention capacity, which is very crucial also for uh, our region, especially in the south of the Mediterranean region. Okay, uh, amendment role of, uh, of compost leads to raise fertility and genes level in the soil, reduce soil degradation, more we have soil organic matter, more we, we, we deal with the problem of erosion, and we promote also carbon sequestration, because uh, otherwise, if you do not uh, compost this kind of biology, we will find ourselves losing carbon in terms of uh, carbon dioxide and also in terms of methane, which are considered uh, among the most uh, important greenhouse gases that causing uh, warm global right now. The reason behind it why we are not up as follow so organic matter enhancement, water retention capacity improvement, very crucial in our uh, semi arid uh, region, as I mentioned previously, promoting carbon sequestration and reducing soil degradation. Biomediation uh, role of compost. As a, it's considered as a successful way for contaminant degradation for three main reasons durability and affordability. It offers a long lasting remedy for polluted soil, and also it's considered affordable technology because it's uh, not expensive, which is very important in terms of transferring technology to the large uh, communities of farms. Safety, my rendition based on compost is regarded as secure because it doesn't release hazardous chemicals into the environment and also operational simplicity, simple and accessible technology. Efficient bioradiation for from compost, rich nutrient and microbial composition. Composition with a high nutrient and microbial content, the carbon sources required for microbial activity are present in compost since it contains organic waste. Destruction of multiple contaminants including solvent, pesticide, growing products and uh, chlorinated and hydrocarbons, which is really important because we are trying to establish the link between food safety and, and, and compost. And uh, you know, I believe that we, don't, we cannot ensure uh, food security or food sovereignty without food safety. And I mean by that, that we need to deal with uh, different kinds of hazards that can affect physical, chemical, and also biological hazards that, uh, that could face uh, the human, human health. So, it's affordable and sustainable bioremediation, for sure. There are several benefits of composting. So, when we talk about sustainability, we are talking about three dimensions, okay? Social, economic, and uh, environmental dimension. For soci uh, socio-economic benefits of composting, saving, it lowers the use of synthetic fertilizer and pesticide, which is very important, especially for countries with low and middle income, New revenue streams from the reproducing compost at large scale, which is very important for uh, rural communities, and also economic development and job creation, creating chances for employment that are more sustainable than those provided by landfills and incinerators. Environmental benefits of composting: waste minimization, make trash management more sustainable by conserving water resources, and reduce reducing negative environmental effects. Decreasing environmental impact, make trash management more sustainable by conserving water resources and reducing negative environmental effects. And climate change uh, prevention, 
increase the environmental awareness and motivate society to adopt more conscientious consumption and disposal practices. So, in this only one uh, effect, we can deal with global warming. We can deal with global warming, and also uh, we can reduce the carbon footprint, and we can enhance the fertility of our soils, which is very, very important. Now, to conclude, a three K findings, but you might prefer to produce high quality compost that successfully reduces cement and pollution since it contains high level of organic matter, high level intent of nutrient elements, especially nitrogen and phosphorus. The second find compensating for the loss of organic matter in soil and thus promoting sustainability, as I mentioned previously, mineral vegetation, and bioremediation possibility the capacity to handle several organic pollutants and persistent organic contaminants. About the size of size, thank you very much. Thank you for your exposure, interesting work. Uh, do you have any questions?